um, it's century 20 or 22. I'm sitting, well, I was sitting, now I'm watching this on the nightly news. I'm not in aviation. I wouldn't even know how to enter that field. I don't have any relatives in that field. Um, or I don't have any Lynn and Lou aren't in there. Let's just, knit, we'll keep it easy. Um, so now I'm listening to the nightly news and it says that Delta and something to do with Russia, some Aeroflot, A-E-R-O-F-L-O-T, are separating. Now, I'm confused because... Again, nobody really teaches anything, and it seems the timelines don't match. Because in, like, the 1940s, there was no flights necessarily, like, transatlantic. Um, or at least that's what the humans in this subservient state of New York were stating um, at the level of human I was delivered to. Um... So, uh, then that leaves me to, well, who funded and who built it? And if that's a question to shy away from, how did it grow so fast and furious as some cash cow? Was there, like, military involvement in that? Because isn't oligarch like the military c component and then the subversion would be the subservient which are the states in their sovereign attempt for diplomacy or democracy while foreign sovereign possibly same subservient is trying to whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever between public, republic. That's one way of in a two sided. Um, and then it's just something about Norway cruise lines. And I'm like, water, right? So they've got flight and water categorically. And then it's like, oh, is this like quantumly just really hard for the senior section of like, if I'm in the JV, there's like a senior varsity somewhere in the junior varsity subservient subversion, whatever. Did they have too many business partners or whatever? I mean, it is just like, holy crow, what did they do with the last four decades? And how did they expand and develop so horribly and get so convoluted? I mean, it, it just feels like the whole world is disheveled at the moment. I mean, how do you keep someone out and your people safe and... Other than not build airports and whatever. Um, Years, the two companies work jointly on things like bookings. The Russian government holds a majority stake in the airline. Delta does not operate any flights itself to either Russia or Ukraine. Meanwhile, cruise ships are canceling stops in both Russia and Ukraine. Now, while I've flown on an airplane, um, I have never, ever been on anything that looks like this. Not a research boat. I saw one of those off on one of the television mentions this morning. This is a cruise ship. I never had money because in uh, from where I am, you have to catch a flight first and then a cruise line. And so I've never been able to actually go on a cruise. 
some of them for the remainder of 2022. Norwegian Regent Seven Seas, Oceana, Viking, and Atlas Ocean Voyages all say their ships will now bypass ports in places like St. Petersburg and Kiev. The companies are arranging for alternative destinations. Nearly a dozen churches... Um, but again, then that goes back to like researchers and stuff because with all of this financial markets being like, there's nothing private or privy anymore. It's like everywhere you go, they've infiltrated between universities and college, whether it be communities, then the real estate, then the traveling, then the the medical field it's like every they it i just it's like every sector got it worst nightmare in a simulation if you work planetary non-human and you're spiritually looking at what what they did humans that is of all kinds from all different high flag flying flags, um, it's just like, how did it get? I mean, where was the regulatory position and oversight? How did it? I mean, you don't want it to go to one extreme, but at some point you need the one extreme to control, like the. I mean.